hi good evening julesy here from julesy designs and jt creations so this is the last one before i finish the the daisy journal so we're just making some long pockets um nothing special it's just out of some of the the digital paper i have actually stitched them that's a little narrow one and that's a vellum one i didn't stitch that i just left it open but I, what I did do was I um, stenciled it and the reason for the long pockets is to fit in to these I did three of these and so I want the I like my envelopes in these pockets I like the little flap of the envelope to fit over like that so find the other one I'm not going to show you too much of this um, journal there's the other one I think this is the one for the, the lemon one yeah that's a little bit bigger Right, we'll just fit it over it might be the wrong pocket that one and then we've got where is it i've got them quite spread out in here i should have put little tags on them and then i would have known exactly because i've probably looked at it twice it's stitched so I'm looking for a stitched, ah, there it is. So this is the one that we're doing uh, pocket for. And this is one of the, the digital papers. And I thought it would go nice. So I just want, about that. That's my extent of measuring. Um, this one, sorry, this one goes in here. So I did a corner pocket out of um, one of the digital papers and I did the corner at the bottom and at the top and you can put long envelopes, that's not as long. So what we're going to do is we'll fold that up there. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in there. Then I want a space of about a centimetre. Then I'll fold that down. And then... There, put there actually. I'm using the lines on here to so I'll get a straight line. So that's a full A4 page, and that's what I've got left. So you can make a tag, you can back tags or anything with that. Um, I am going to use my denim to ink round the edges. I am going to corner, uh, round the corners off first. I'm not going to sew it on the video, um, but it will be stitched before it goes in because what I do need to do is I do need to cut a piece off um, yeah. two seconds thank you my cup of tea <laughs> okay so 
so we'll go back in and we'll have a look at the pocket there it is so it needs about So I've just cut it so it will fit in there nicely. That's it. So we'll do the edges again. We'll move this out the way. And it is yellow um, cotton I'm using for stitching, so it's quite a contrast with the, the blue and the green. Um, also, there's some pink papers in there. There's the it's just a couple of pages, avocado pages. Um, Some green pages, but they're digital pages. So we'll just ink this. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. So what we want is some, glue that down first. So I'm gluing from the, the crease when I get some glue. <laughs> In a straight line if you can get it. And then just run your fingers up the edge. Sorry about my bracelet. Alright, this has been with a wet one, so just wait that. So that's that. So now we're need to um, decorate it so I've been cutting some um, daisies out now what I did do is I found my um, Sicily it's crafters companion CD and it's the the flower fairies um, one of them it's the seasons fairies so it's the spring and summer fairies and there is a daisy fairy so what I did was I printed a sheet out and it had some daisies on so I uh, printed a load out on a, on a piece of paper and got my scan and cut to cut them out which was quite helpful and you can see I've been inking all day between blue and brown And just and we'll put that on there. Um, I've got some butterflies now. I just cut these out of book pages. Um, but I'm not quite sure. I quite like the the daisies that I cut out. 
I just did a load at a time. Um, but some of the pages were blank, so I've got some nice blank ones. So I'm just I will get some. I think we'll put that there and we'll get a bit of them. Trying to see what bling I've got. Um, no, that's. Oh, I've got some of those little tiny buttons, haven't I? If I took the thread out. That would cut quite nice actually. Um, these are the ones I did in Cypress. So that's got a nice yellow and blue bit. Um, trying to think, would I be able to get some of this through? We'll try. We can only try. It goes through that there. One through that way and There we are, and I'll tie that in a knot. It's just lemon organza ribbon. And we'll just trim that. I'll trim that. I'll use Fabri-Tac for putting the, and these are just four buttons that I made out of, um, it was a challenge I was in while I was away and it was a challenge with punches and I only had um, circle punches. <laughs> so I decided to make some charms and four buttons for my journals. Right. And we'll put that one on there. Right. That's one thing with the fabric tack you get a little bit of wiggle room so you can move it about a bit. Put that back there. Um, all right, I've got some silver leaves here. They're just done on vellum. Um, it was just a, a vellum card set I had. Um, and I just got them out just in case they would. But I'm not sure if they're... not really using any silver in my journal so I'm not sure if there would be any good um quite like that one right we'll use this one again up with it being vellum I'm going to use fabric tack although it's because it's got the silver over the top you wouldn't see the glue anyway and we'll put that one in that corner. Put that 
piece off. Just going to see what this is like when it, because it's um, on vellum, I've just kiss cut round it. So there's a bit of vellum around the leaf. I'm just wondering if I. Sorry if I come out of the... I'm not quite sure about that. Let's see... I've got some more daisies. Ah, oh, I've got this. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I would rather just have. I like the white daisies actually better than these, but because they've got pink around the edge, and I found the little daisy fairy, so she will appear in my daisy journal. Um, I like the Cecily Mary Barker um fairies. And the season fairies are quite old looking, so they're, they're quite vintagey. So we'll find the. There we are. And then that just fits in there. And there we are, there. So I've now, so what I'll do is I'll do some. Um, it brings out the blue in that. But what I will do is I'll do some um, stenciling. Um, on this one in the blue so I'll get my stencil out I'm so glad my camera's not attached to this table anymore because I'd be making you all seasick because it is wobbling the table. I'd have been better taking the page out because I haven't stitched them in. And there we are. And then we've got a bit of blue one there. Um, I want any on here in parts. I think it will probably go green, but because it's going on top of yellow, that's taken it. Got to add some on this. I quite like this stencil. Um, I don't think it's craft related. I think I got it to stencil the material or a wall or something. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll. That's how I like them to sit. And then that way you can still put little tags in those pockets. Like that. And tickets and things. So there we are. So thank you for watching. The next video will be making the cover and then the video after that will be the flip through of the actual journal. I might change it to two signatures. It depends on 
on what I want for the cover. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, there's still a, quite a bit more to go in. But I will do that offline. So thank you for joining me. See you in the next video.